I was curious about him and by that stage I knew, you know, my mum had told me she'd had a box with everything in that she'd show me when I was ready. I always waited for the time my mum thought I'd be ready to see them, you know, from her. I didn't really think to ask much about him, sorry, about Ian. because I didn't want to upset my mum or my adopted dad. I got the paper clippings from under my bed, um, handed them to her, told her to take her time. I asked her if she wanted me to sit with her while she read them or whether she wanted me to leave the room. Um, but she, she asked for some privacy, so I left the bedroom. But I, I stood outside the door um, and said to her that if you need me, just shout me in. And I just stood and waited for her. At that point, I thought I was ready. So she left me alone with the box to have a read through of what was inside it. And then about 10 minutes later, she come back in, asked me how I was feeling, if I was okay. And I couldn't stop crying. The paper clippings told me what my mum had gone through how she'd been abused and raped and things. They told me about what she went through when she fell pregnant with me, being pushed down the stairs. They told me about the, the two murders. It told me about what supposedly happened that night to Holly and Jessica. Thinking back to it, I can't really say that there was anything more upsetting than the other. It was all... It was all very hard to read. I didn't want people knowing who my biological father was because I knew that certain people would know who he was and they'd ask a lot of questions. So I just wanted it to be something that I'd keep to myself.